Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Firebase tutorial and today in this video we are going to have the first look how to add the user sign up function into our Android app. So in the last video we just had the introduction to this Firebase authentication. So actually in that tutorial we actually selected the email and password as the method of signing in. So right now in the Android studio I have a sample sign up page which has a edit text one is the email and the second one is this password and there is a button called sign up and there is another button called sign in if you already have an account so in the last video we just discussed about just uh, creating this kind of thing I just had a simple modif modification and everything was same from the last video uh, what I have extra is this button which is not that a big deal okay you can see here it is the here is the call okay now let's go to the main activity and from the last video itself we have the we have added the variables inside the one create method so in this video what we're going to do is that we are going to add the dependency and all the other things so first off just go to the file then go to this project structure and just go to this authentication and check that and once it is done what you have to do is simply go yeah just wait for the gradle to complete its building process okay now what we have to do is that just go to the tools and select the firebase and now we have the firebase assistant window and all we need to do is just go and open this authentication now just click on this email and password authentication now you can see the app is connected so just in case if your app is not connected then click on that and uh, that's pretty much it you will be automatically connected then next thing is to add the dependency so just click on this add firebase other to your android app now what you have to do is that we have to just add this so click on this accept changes okay now the dependency is added okay so this time what we have to do is that we have to just open this module app which is the app level gradle file yeah we have to simply change the version just in case if you got some kind of errors then all you need to do is that you you will be getting a older version possibly so what you have to do is that we have to set it into 11.6.0 then click on the sync now again and that's pretty much it it will be doing every single thing that we actually require okay now as you can see the gradle has been updated now what we have to do the next thing is that we have to add the firebase authentication here so just add the firebase authentication so that is firebase something like my firebase auth now we have to initialize it just after the set content view so my firebase then equal to then that is firebase auth get instance what we have to do the next thing is that first off we have to get the value from this edit text into a string resource so just creating some string maybe like i'm just going to create it here because we have to get the string value inside some external method so string then that is going to be my email also another string that is my password now just getting the value into the string from the edit text then get text then to string again my password now we have the value of the edit text inside these two strings now what we have to do the next thing is that we have to add the sign up button one click so bt dot set one click listener then new one click listener and all we need to do is that whenever the button is clicked we have to get the value of this edit text inside this string so just copy just cut that and you have to paste it inside this button so the next thing is to you have to just create a listener for the firebase auth and it have to send the data that is the email and password into the firebase server and there it need to register a new user so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a specific method for that. So private, then void, then create new user. You can give any name. Then inside that, all we need, to, yeah, just add that. Now inside this, all you need to do is that my Firebase auth, then dot create user user with email and password and now what we need to do is that we have to add that two strings that is this one my email and my password so my email comma then my password 
now add a dot then we we have to get this one add one complete listener then new one complete listener so it automatically printed this method called one complete so this one complete is going to get this task we check for the successful registration so all we need to do the next thing is that we have to use the if else statement to make sure the user has been registered uh, if then task dot is successful and if it is successful it will have to open another window so something like just creating an indent then home indent this is going to open the home window so new indent this or main activity dot this then uh, home activity dot class now start activity that is home indent now I'm just creating another just creating another activity so maybe like a basic activity is much better that is home activity and this can be called as welcome and now just clicking on this finish okay now we have the activity just go to the main activity itself so just add main activity dot this just adding a semicolon now it's perfect now we have to also add the else statement so just in case if it is not successful in registering the user then we have to simply just uh, display a toast message okay now we have done so now finally we have to call this method inside the one click listener of the button so create new user and that's it so we have already added this new yeah firebase app we just added the instance of this firebase inside this firebase app so if you're following me from the last video itself then you probably have this already created and also if you're watching this particular tutorial then you will have to add this instant just by creating a class with the name as same as the app and adding the application and finally you have to also navigate the yeah here it is also you have to add the internet permission now i'm going to the content main of this app and just adding some kind of text okay now we have that and the next thing is that there's nothing left right now so we are ready to go and fire up the app inside the android device so let's turn on the kitty let's wake up the kitty so we have the android kitty just clicking on the ok to wake it up now i'm going to enter something like sabith at youtube.com assemble email address with a unique password something like uh, hello me what I'm going to do next thing is then I'm going to click on the sign up button and registration failed just try once again okay so the registration has been failed as you can see and the reason why it is failed because I have turned the internet connection off so what I'm going to do is that just turning the cellular data now we have the app YouTube itself yeah YouTube then now just go and press this sign up button and just wait a moment yeah hola we have the home page which is actually the welcome screen which comes after the login successful login and now we have to just click on this reload and blah you can see sabith at youtube.com here is a new user creator and we also have this now when i try to just press or anything everything is working perfect but when i try to go back you can see it just come into this page so what we need is to just close the app and whenever the user open the app again it will directly go into the home page unless the user log out from the app so now just give another try something like subscribe at youtube.com so these are sample email id and password and this is something like sub underscore four then sabbath 
okay now just click on this sign up and again it's going to open the second window and blam you can see so within the middle of the login process and opening this new window you can add a, a spinner loading spinner or something like that to give the user an experience like the app is trying to open or the app is trying to uh, register the user so now just click on this reload and it will be creating another one subscribe at youtube.com so now that's it that's for this tutorial and guys it's take a lot of time for me to make this video because my computer is much way slower so i need your support and the way that you can support me is just by clicking the like button if you like this video and uh, just in case if you didn't like this video then please hit that dislike button also i have my patreon which you can donate some kind of money it's highly appreciated you can find the link in this video description and also in the about page of this channel so yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out